as I'm sure you saw from the uh, title of the video, while I'm already confused, uh, I'm playing uh, Castlevania Circle of the Moon for the Game Boy Advance. There's definitely some backstory with this for me, I'll tell you that much, and my controller seems to be spazzing out. But, pff, can't even spell my own screen name, that's great. I don't know, I think the emulator's kind of bugging out on me, and if that's the case, I won't be able to do this very long. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, I'll tell you about the backstory when we get to that, to some actual gameplay. Because the story is oh so important when it comes to Castlevania games that are just well known for their story. Uh, uh yeah. They're not. So that was the story to this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this has been Castlevania Circle of the Moon. Oh, okay. This is the demon S something known as Camilla. Uh, Camilla exists in a lot of cultures from what I understand. She's kind of like the... I don't know what you'd want to call her, but... I'm skipping through the story. If you want to read it, then Google it or something, or just pause the video. Um, but I'll pretty much give you a summary of it when we get past this. It's not all that long, but whatever. And he just sends out bats, because that is what he does. Rocks fall all over us, but we seem to come out unscathed. We just fell about a mile. Don't worry though, we're fucking god. Yeah, that guy was Hugh's father. Hugh is probably one of my favorite non-playable characters, like, ever. Even if he is a little whiny at times. Um, look at this. Look at how high you jump in this game. And he's white. Okay, and I just got hit by a bomb, I should pay attention. Um, I'm sorry if I'm talking a little quiet or extremely fucking loud, but... I've had, uh... Well, one, I've had a head cold the past few days. It's kind of been growing, and... Because <laughs> that's what they do. Uh, it's just been getting a little worse. I mean, I feel fine. And I'm heart farming for no apparent reason, because I like to talk. But, I can't hear out of my left ear at all, and it's starting to affect my right ear, so, it's weird to talk like this, Th that's really all I can say about it, it just feels weird. Anyway, that's his little thing when you hold the whip out, like when you hold the attack button and you get to play with the whip, uh, those enemies are not scary at all, but I seem to have troubles with them. And right off the bat, we have one of my favorite tracks in the game, like of any Castlevania game for that matter, and we already get a card. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, I'll show it off in the menu if I can remember my buttons. Um, yeah, you get a ton of cards in this game, and one of them's an action, the other's a, an attribute. The action cards go along the lines of certain gods and goddesses. So you have like your summoning and like weapon generation and stuff like that. And then you have the, the attributes like fire, water, ice, all that good stuff. But um, I'm kind of making this a challenge run so I'm not going to be using those. So no magic right off the bat. Um, can't double tap to run yet. That'll come later. But you can slide like that which when I first played the game, I didn't really expect to be able to do that right off the bat, and why did I get hit? Um, but I could get to the reason that I like this game so much, and am playing it now. Um, well, after I tell you this, you, if you find yourself in need of antidotes, which I'm going to be in need of, because I suck at not getting poisoned, you can just sit here and farm these all day, and usually you get a 
an antidote or two, but he doesn't seem to be dropping one for me, so... Oh, you also get experience from him, so if you're an experienced farming whore like I am, that... Ow. Then you'll want to farm those. They're the easiest things to farm this early in the game. Those things are boneheads. They're funky. Um, this is your save point. <laughs> Kind of weird, considering I'm used to the coffin from Symphony of the Night, or, like, anything else, really. Um, I don't really remember what all the other GBA games have. Even though I've played them many more times than I'd like to admit, I'll say that much. Um, so, backstory with this game. The first time I played it, I actually just went ahead and got the ROM of it because I just wanted something a little different to play and I haven't had not played it at the time so I was a little curious. Um, I had just recently gotten through with playing Aria of Sorrow and Harmony of Dissonance for like the 50th time so I wanted something to do. So I saw this on Dope Roms and I thought, it's a Castlevania game, I'll give it a try. Surprisingly enough, I didn't much like it at first. I wasn't really used to the card system, and to be honest, it, it's actually kind of difficult. It's a lot harder than Area of Sorrow and Harmony of Dissonance in my opinion. And if I'm saying either of those wrong, forgive me, I'm not a linguistics major. Uh, even though I did try to major in creative writing, but that's a different story. Anyway, now we get the dash boots. So, we can dash. We. Um, yeah, that's that. And those bats are annoying. But I've said that many times in many different games. Um... But I'm not exactly done with the story for me discovering this. Um, but the first time I played it, I got up to that Earth Demon, who pretty much two-shotted me. You don't start out with nearly enough health in this game as a noob. So, yeah, just look at that. You start out with 100 health. I, I guess it's enough, but it's not. <laughs> but, so one day, oh hell yes, thank god. I'll try not to use that, but... Anyway! <laughs> um... But yeah, I didn't like the game when I first started playing it, so... Th that was pretty much it. I never touched the game again. I just pretty much went on with trying to do everything I could with Aria of Sorrow and Harmony of Dissonance. Because at the time I had no idea how to make a um, PlayStation emulator work. Um, I, I'll show off the location of this, but, um, as part of the self-imposed challenge run, I will not be obtaining, like, life max-ups, or health max-ups, or heart max-ups. But right up here we have a health max-up, and due to the limited healing options of this game, you really only have the ability to heal at um, save points, and sometimes potions if you're lucky enough to get the drop, because potions are extremely fucking rare in this game, as well as the max heart ups and all, or not the max heart ups, but the hearts, they give like 10 hearts to you each, kind of useful, actually I don't think I need to be in here, yeah that won't be until later. I do like the abilities of this game. This one had some pretty goddamn cool abilities. But, yeah. Um, but back to my story because it's just so much better. Okay, I remember where that was. That's cool. Um, there's the mana max up. Uh, I'm not picking it up for obvious reasons. There's a save point around here somewhere. Um, well... One day when I had my, not that room, um, when I had my Game Boy Advance before it just got completely lost. Um, oh no, there's another Mana Max up. 
Um, I went to GameStop one day, and this was back when they still had GBA games in their display case. I mean, God, that was forever ago. Now it's all Nintendo DS and whatever bullshittery they want to put in there. Oh, hey, another card. Mercury. Cool. Uh, save and don't fail at it. Oh, wait, I want to actually save, and that was failing at it. Um... I was looking around in the display case, and I was mainly looking for the Harmony of Dissonance and Area of Sorrow dual pack, but they didn't have it. And then I saw that they had Circle of the Moon in there, and I was like, eh, I'll give it another shot, because it had been about three or four months since I tried it. Um, over there is something that I can't reach yet, and, but I used to be able to by getting hit at certain points, but pff, I'm not nearly as good now. I mean, I used to be really good at this game. I know that is kind of hard to believe considering how badly I fail in my videos. Um, I want that. I don't know why. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I, so I did get the game there, and every time I went to GameStop, I took my Game Boy with me, Game Boy Advance. So, first thing I did when I got in the car to go home was put it back in the freaking, put it back, yeah, okay. I put it in the Game Boy Advance, and I started playing it, actually taking note of what the hell was happening. And, well, the first thing I did was actually be able to get past that fucking Earth Demon. And after that, I, I started having fun with it. I started really enjoying the game. So I played the living hell out of it, and it just got better and better as I went on. And so it sort of got a little special place in my heart. And now it is one of my favorite Castlevania games of all time, right next to Symphony of the Night. Well, of the type where you actually get to customize your armor and such, which reminds me, I need to do this. Yeah, equip a wristband and get some more strength going for me. Anyway, the, that's the potion, those are the hearts. 20 HP may not seem like a lot, but <laughs> it's pretty much the best you're gonna get this early on. But again, not using items, I'm not using the cards, not picking up the pickups. I'm at least going to show where I know where some are. I don't remember where all of them are, unfortunately. I guess it doesn't really matter. God, I'm getting murdered. Um, But I was just kind of sitting here today, bored as all hell, thinking, yeah, I could finish up some loose ends. Actually, I think there is a heart max up in here, or maybe it's a magic max up. Yeah, magic. I don't need it. Um, I was just kind of bored thinking. Oh, boss. Okay. Yeah. Um, thing about this boss, it kind of looks familiar, I guess. Um, I. I don't think it's the one they used in Dracula X. Um, anyway, he'll howl like that, turn black, and he'll do one of two things, maybe one of three, but I know it's two at least. He'll send out those electric things, or he'll jump around like a mad thing, like that. Oh yeah, he has the laser. I could be using my sub-weapon, I guess. Although, what's the point? Um, this boss is surprisingly hard for this early in the game. Like, if you're new to the game, I guess, it can be pretty freaking nerve-wracking. Like I said, this game is probably the hardest for the GBA. And at that... Don't hit me. Don't draw on me, either. That's disgusting. And he's gonna fire the laser. Oh, shit. I didn't know he would do it like that. So, how about that no potion challenge? Throw! Throw for your life! 
Oh yeah, and you know how in all Castlevania games ever, right after a boss you'll get a little orb that heals you or something? Why did I dash into him? Die! Don't do the electric thing, please. You did the electric thing. You're a dick. And you're gonna kill me. Yeah, he killed me. That is lame. Um... Well, damn. I'm just gonna go with it. Why not? Uh... I was saying something of importance, I think. Um... <laughs> fuck if I know. I think I had him close, though. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I remember now. Those orbs. Those coveted orbs. Um... This game is a dick. In that, after boss fights, you don't get those. So, if you come out of a fight with 1 HP, then... you just come out of the fight with 1 HP. You're, you're screwed otherwise. Unless you are on a boss that has, like, a life max up right after it, which, good luck with that, that rarely happens. I think there's one boss that does that. And it's not even a difficult boss. Frankly, this boss is probably the most difficult of the first three or four. And I should have leveled up. Why am I getting hurt? Stop hurting me. Do you really want to hurt me? Do you really want to make Nathan Graves cry? That is one of the weird things about this game. You're not a Belmont. You are Nathan Graves. Strange name if I've ever heard one, but it works, I guess. Like, I don't even think they try to explain away why you're Nathan Graves rather than, insert random name here, Belmont. Um, are you gonna jump into me? No, you're not. But you're probably gonna run into me. Yeah, you did. You're a dick. But I think it's nearly dead. Don't... Thank you. Run! Damn it. For some reason, I'm not able to double tap the direction pad like I want to be able to. Just jump. Ah! Actually, I should be more careful. Ah! Damn it. Let me double tap. Yeah, it's being ridiculous, so... I guess I'm just gonna cut the video here, and... I'll be back at the boss before you know it. So, I'll see you next time.